I'm back. Right now we are doing a Twin Galaxies bounty. Twin Galaxies is throwing out a bounty right now. The person who can beat the most levels in Mario 3 while it's beating the game without taking damage or dying wins the contest. Each level, each Hammer Brother is a point. Each airship is a point. Each fortress is a point. The furthest I've gotten is literally the end of World 6. Sure, let's use a star here. The greed! What greed? I flew too close to the sun! Damn it! I've never even done that in a speed run! Alright, we're, we're, we are on PB pace right here. So I'm gonna take it slow. Nice and slow. Do you know why I failed that? It's only because I have not played this game in months. Yo, Matty Mace with this three, three. Okay, I'm not reading out everyone's three stream streak, okay? Yeah, congratulations with your streaks. Good job. <laughs> Local singles in whose area? Have I played the Princess Peach Showtime? No, I don't know if I'll like it. Nice new challenge, show Twin Galaxy who's boss? That's right. Maybe if I get a perfect score, Twin Galaxy will fly me out so that we can put my name in concrete in front of the, the steps in front of the office. Get the real Mitchell there. Hey, I'm still shooting for 99 lives. Somebody said they'd give me 99 subs if I got 99 lives. But I was gonna do 99 lives anyways, so what does that mean? Nice, I got it. Billy Mitchell is better than Mitch Bitchell. Who's Mitch Bitchell? Worse than? You know I can't read greater thans and worse thans. You know I don't know greater thans and worse thans. That's... I always failed that subject in school. Mitch Mitchell was the drummer, that's right, for Jimi Hendrix. But only for two albums, I think. I'm pretty sure Mitch Mitchell's parents are massive stoners, because who the hell... If your last name is Mitchell, who in their right mind would name their kid Mitchell? Yeah, Ben Benjamin? No way, don't tell me. So, somebody with the last name Butts named their child Harry? Got him! Okay, so that's, I think, nine, right? Nine is the first world. Wait, there was twins at your school that had weird names? I think if you're gonna name your kids, and again, I don't have children, so obviously I'm an expert. If you're gonna name your kids after little things that you love, you should do it like either middle name or like kind of discreetly in a way. What do you guys think I'm gonna name my kid? Lemmy? So you're saying don't name my next kid Tequila? Yes, please, don't name your n Or at least, or at least, okay, so here's a good strat, right? If you actually wanted to name your, your kid Tequila, like make it the middle name and make the middle name like Tiki. There you go. If I was gonna name my kid Gohan, maybe I'd make the middle name Gohan or like Go, G-O-H. Listen, take my advice. As someone who doesn't have children, I think I'm well, I think I'm more than enough qualified to be telling you guys how to name your children, okay? So, step aside. Okay, the experts here. You know, a lot of people with no middle names. I do have a middle name. Ooh, 
My middle name is Crunchwrap. My middle name is whatever I'm eating at that very moment. Sometimes my middle name's Cereal. Yeah, my middle name's gonna be Twix in 20 minutes because I'm gonna eat a Twix. I'm salty. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes my middle name is the ingredients that I eat. I like it all, but if I were to choose, if I were to choose, I'd probably choose uh, like, um, like chips. There's a gun to your head, and the only way to survive is to eat that one guilty pleasure food that you can definitively decide to eat for the rest of your life. What would that guilty pleasure food be? Brownie, 100%. Kid Cat bars? Cheese it's huh? Yo, Sour Patch Kids are good. That is a hard choice, right? Yo, Mars bar? Really? Deep fried butter? Cool, kid. You're dead. Okay? You had a gun to your head, you had one choice, and you picked two things. You're dead. You're a ripped cool kid. He died. They're too greedy. <laughs> Twix are pretty close to better. When I was a little kid in Canada, one loony. You take one loony to the convenience store and you can get a chocolate bar. That's all you needed. Okay, I think we're good, right? Kit Kats are too small to be considered a serious chocolate. Ban him. Ban this guy right there. There's a third cat. Wait, there's a third cat outside? <laughs> is it the same one? What? There's a third cat. Why is there... <laughs> we just... We were feeding one cat and now there's three. Okay, there was one big cat that came to our back door. We gave it a little bit of food because we didn't know if it had a home. We didn't know if it was abandoned. You know, we're not going to capture it and give it the worst experience of its life and then take it to the vet to see if it's chipped or anything. So we just casually gave it food and like we weren't petting it or anything. Like I literally was staying away from it. I put a little bit of food in a dish by the little stairs near the backyard. And then that was that. Just let it have a little bit, whatever. And we've just been casually doing that and the cat's been coming back and getting more comfortable, sure. But then all of a sudden, after like, it's been like a month and a half of just this one cat. And we were like, cool, just this one cat. Uh, What's after world two, 23? 21? I think it's 21, right? So then after like, it's it's probably been like two months, I'd say, because like winter time, we kind of felt bad for the cat. It's like freezing cold. And then again, nothing for months. And then all of a sudden today, the big cat comes, gets his food a little bit. Then a gray, a smaller gray cat comes up. And then now an all black cat came up all on the same day. I don't really want to be the cat man. I'm not, I'm not feeding the neighborhood. Although that's not true. I have three bird feeders in my backyard. I want the birds to chill in my neighborhood because I like birds. Put a GoPro on the cat? Uh, no. I'm not getting near wild cats like that. Like, thi like this cat, according to... According to my wife, this cat has been coming around since December and like I've pet it like three times because I'm not letting it scratch me. I'm nice to the cat, I talk to the cat, I'm pleasant, I feed the cat, I give it a little pets behind the ear every once in a while. Like I, I enjoy the company of the cat, but I'm not getting that close to the cat. Yeah, he seems like normal weight. He doesn't seem chunky or skinny, but he definitely, definitely has put on probably a little bit more weight by getting fed through us. They're not our cats. They're, there's not, like, I'm not getting close to them. I was thinking about this summer maybe building like a little shelter for them or something. I don't know. But my second point is that if they start shitting all over my yard, that's it. You're out of here. <laughs> Next stream, how many cats they have. Sorry, I didn't mean to fill the stream with such large cat talk. I just, I'm surprised there's a third cat. We currently have three cats like in our home and now we've had one cat in our backyard who's been coming around for the past few months, making sure it's fed and try and keep it warm in any way possible. There's actually an interesting indicator that might insinuate that this cat, the big cat might be double dipping. 
because he just sits there and watches the birds. He doesn't try and attack them. Wouldn't a stray cat outdoors, living outdoors its whole no life, be constantly, constantly be trying to get the, the birds or something? Some kind of food source? You know what? I don't know. <laughs> I've seen birds attacking cats too. After World 3, is it 35? It's like last year Nintendo released Mario Advanced 4 on the Switch. And the e-reader levels were in a different menu. It's like it was a, its own different game. It's a different game. You never used the anchor in your life? There's like one time where the anchor is like super useful. And that's when you have a lot of lives, but you keep dying on the airship. That's the only time I can think that it's worth anything. Right, so you die on the airship and then you use your anchor or just use your anchor before you enter the fortress. And if you die on the airship, the airship won't go anywhere on the map ever. Not all the airships in all the worlds, just that world that you use the anchor on. And it's like, it's a massive time save in like World 7. Right, if you skip a lot of levels in World 7, and you're some like noob who needs to skip levels, the anchor's like a really good item. But like, it makes no sense because the anchor's hidden so well that like, you can't just get an anchor. What's going on here? What the hell was that? The anchors are in the white mushroom houses, that's correct. Big clan. I feel like a lot of casuals will be taking damage in this level. Because of that stupid snipe at the top. That's a dirty, dangerous snipe right there. Do I consider the anchor a power-up? No, it's not a power-up. I think if you reworded it... So what is the worst power-up then? I mean, I get technically the worst power-up in this game is the frog suit. It sucks. But I feel like there's no power-up in Mario 3 that everyone collectively decides is trash. I don't think there is a crappy power-up in this game. Okay, let me modern- okay, so when you think about like I want anyone in chat to tell me something bad about this game. Something where you're like, you know what, that's... They shouldn't have done that. That's really bad. I want it to be serious, not a joke. Boss Bass? I can, I can see some people hating this game because they think Boss Bass is stupid. Honestly, I think the worst part about this game is this auto-scroller. But when, when you were a kid... Like, our opinion of this auto-scroller is heavily based on how much you guys have watched the game and how much time you've wasted watching this big piece of shit. For us, collectively, to hate this level is kind of biased because we all hate it for the same reason and that it's slow and a waste of time and we don't want to sit here for two and a half minutes watching this. We want to get the run going. You hate that you can't go backwards with Warp Whistle? Yes, you can. Five gift subs, I'll tell you how. Too many Warp Whistles in World 1? I kind of agree, but also you have to remember what time this game was developed in. This was before the internet. Oh, okay, that, okay, that, that's, wait, what? I'm glad you said the Mushroom House teases that you can't get to. That's right, okay. That is legit one really bad programming error or problem that they made with this game that could be identified since the game came out. 
Like you could have gone to a store and bought this game in like 1993. You could have gone to the store, bought this game, got the strategy guide, got all the items. And by the time you got to world four, you didn't have enough items to get the mushroom house. You didn't have the hammer. So yeah, I guess one of their biggest mistakes in this game is that you cannot get all the mushroom houses in one full playthrough. I'm pretty sure this game did better than Super Mario World in sales. I think if you tried to modernize Mario 3's impact on the world for its time, it's like, I don't know, when Elden Ring came out. Right? This game is the Elden Ring of 1988. You know what? And to make things right, Elden Ring is the Mario 3 of this time. Yeah, that's right. Well, most people got Super Mario World with their NES. True. And most families were resistant to buying a Super Nintendo because parents were like, you already have a Nintendo. What do you need another Nintendo for? You already got one. My dad came home one day and told me secrets in Mario 3 that someone told him at work. What was that, last year? When he came home with the milk, finally? You guys remember what it was like? To take a dump without cell phones? It was always like, take a video game case with you into the bathroom. It was like, it was like, like you're, you're holding in, you're holding in having to go to the bathroom because you need to pick the perfect video game magazine to look through. Now you just bring your cell phone in with you. Read the spray can fresheners. As an adult, I was always poor. That's why, that's why I was a Sega kid. Any Sega kid in the world has trust issues because Sega from day one lied to us. <laughs> Yo, thank you very much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate that. Okay, they lied to us. I don't need to explain myself. I was lied to. I actually did like Sega Genesis though. I did like, I liked some parts of Sega. I was a big Sonic player. I played Sonic. I played Sonic, okay, the Sega games that I played as a kid growing up was, I played Sonic, and I think for the most part, it was only Sonic 2. And I had Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat 2. I had all the twos apparently. And I had Beauty and the Beast for the Sega. That was my sister's game, but come on fellas, you know, we played any game we got our hands on. Oh, I don't, I don't disbelieve. I don't disbelieve that girls didn't play games that they got their hands on, but when you're a little boy growing up in the 90s, there's a stipulation about doing anything girly, right? You'd always get made fun of by your brother or your sister. If I liked anything girly, my brother gave me hell, right? When it came to video games, it didn't matter if it was portrayed as girly or not. A gamer plays anything, nobody cares. That's kind of the point I was trying to make. Bro, I'll play Beauty and the Beast, I don't give a fuck. I'm looking for love too, you know? You think Belle's the only one trying to get laid? I don't think so. I think I remember watching an interview with some of the game devs who made Sega games. When they got the contract or whatever to do Disney games, they were explicitly told to make it r like harder rather than longer, right? Because I'm pretty sure Lion King's a pretty short game. And I think Aladdin is a pretty short game too. But there's always a certain point in each of those games that's just like stupidly hard that kids aren't gonna figure out. For the Lion King, they didn't hold back. The second level of the Lion King, 90% of kids did not get past. Right, they were incentivized to make sure that they could keep renting the games.
Oh, dang it. Okay, my PB is at the end of this world, so guys, I gotta buckle down, man. I gotta buckle down. I can't keep... You know, I got work to do. Yeah, I, f I feel like I'm back in school again where all of you are done your homework and I'm the only one who's not. So... So if you don't mind me, I, yeah, I need to concentrate, okay? Enough of the distractions. Ooh! That's, that's where I was supposed to fall. Okay, this level's tripping me out right now. All right, we made it. Dude, that level was tripping me out. I only did that because I can. Oh, you thought I was going for the star kill? No. I mean, I would have, but if I was gonna go for the star kill, I would have at least jumped on top of his head. That way I would have, you know, still land, like still stomped him instead of taking damage. Okay, game. Yo, Mitch. Missed you lots. Hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Welcome back! too scary. I have a ROM hack that can test the limits of my mashing, if you guys are interested in seeing. Alright! We are... PB, we are at 78 right now. This is where we messed up last time. Maybe I should just use a star to be safe. How many stars do I have? One, two, three. Oh, I got plenty of stars. Yeah, sure. There we go. We are at 79. 
We made it. We made it to our first lap. Oh, I made it finally. All right. Our first lap. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go back. These weeks, arms are heavy. I know. What's the current record for this bounty? I have no idea. I just know what I've gotten so far, which is 70. We're at 80 right now. Big storm tonight? Too bad I can't pause it. And my cousin touched we winter is a cold time of year. Sorry, a little South Park quote for you fans out there. The Twisty Castle does count one time. That would mean it counts further and further laps. I'm not sure, so I'm not adding it in, just in case. When the judges watch my video and tally everything up, I mean, if they correct my my score, good. If not, then, you know, whatever. But I don't want to submit and say it's this many and then them count up and be like, nope, disqualified. I'd rather under, I'd rather under park it because it does say you can only do the Twisty Castle once. So I'm going to assume that that time doesn't count. We have got confirmation that uh, lapping is allowed. You do as much as you can before killing Bowser. I sure do hope those cats are okay. Gotcha, thanks. No problem. Have I been to World 8 yet? No. Yeah, I am curious what my points are going to be when I finish this.
Yeah, I assume the cats during a storm, they're probably like under like some like spruce trees or some shit like that, right? In some garden. Yo, what up, Wayward? How far have I got? This far. Right now, right here. Right here, right now, this far. But I also want to do, I also am working, yo, BD, what's up? I also do want to work on the, uh, the three heart challenge in Ocarina of Time. I think that'd be a lot of fun. If lapping is allowed, wouldn't it be easier just to lap World 1 over and over because you can just keep getting whistles? Uh, when you use a warp whistle in World 1, it takes you to 2, 3, and 4. Right, so what does bounty mean? Bounty is just kind of like a up uh, a challenge up for grabs for anyone willing to try is essentially what a bounty is, I guess. It's a it's a public challenge. Anyone, anyone and everyone. Yeah, I got the warp whistle from the bro in World Two. Yep. Yeah. Wouldn't a backwards wrong warp? Sure, but I mean I'm not doing a backwards wrong warp, so I don't have to worry about it. Blind spots! Thank you, welcome back! So let's see, 79 plus 3 Hammer Brothers. 91, 92, 93, 94. It's a good thing he shot upward. Bebo the Show. I remember a skit on E-Bombs World a long time ago called Bebo the Cat. Oh, there's my little buddy. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's uh, good to watch Bebo the Cat. E-Bombs World. I feel like a lot of videos from E-Bombs World is not politically quotable. A quotable. Quotable anymore? I feel like anything I watched on Ebomb World when I was a teenager or a young kid or whatever, I should keep to myself. Because odds are there were some pretty overly offensive uh, cartoon skits on it. There was no regulations back then. Black Rose Dragon. What up? Welcome back, Mitch. Remember Stick Death? Of course I remember Stick Death. You remember Bobby's World? Of course I remember Bobby's World. Wasn't Bobby's World, um... Wasn't the uncle voiced by, like... It's not John Candy. Who was it? The voice of the uncle in Bobby's World was a famous actor, wasn't it? Yo, Howie Mandel was a freak back then. He's Canadian, you should know this. Oh, sorry, I, I must have forgotten. You know everyone from your country. My bad.
I probably could have killed him with the star. Yo, I'm farming. Yeah, I'm farming points right here. Just in case I mess up the next level. Oh, you looked him up in a podcast. You didn't know Howie Mandel. 94 max points? No, no, no. We're, we're still going. Oh, you fuck. No, this is really bad. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! That spinner can throw you anywhere. I'm so... That... That was... That spinner can actually throw you into the ground. Am I good? No. I'm better now, though. I'm better now. Come on, there's some... There's some Mario 3 runners here that can vouch for me. That guy that asked about Max 90, what, Human Mustard? Yeah, Human Mustard. Come in and distract me. Take the gold. I'm working on Mac points. The only thing I can't remember is if you have to take damage in the Japanese version to get the Glitch Warp Whistle. Because if so, then I'm going to have to redo this on the Japanese version. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to redo this on the Japanese version. I'll get... I'll get NA max points. Oh my god! That was close. Oh no, hit him, hit him, hit him. Thank you. No, I haven't asked if Japanese versions allowed, no. Not yet. Hold on, my cat's going a little nuts right now. Hold on a sec. Hi, buddy, I'm okay. Yo, look at how many lives I have, guys. You better look quick. I feel like I gotta, I gotta win you guys back, you know? I, I was away for a while and, you know. I mean, I was away for definitely purely personal benefits, you know? Like I needed some time away. So what I, what I did was the right, I did the right thing by taking time, but I still do uh, appreciate you guys all here when I come back. It means a lot to me. I didn't do any speedrunning while I, while I was away. No. I didn't play any Mario 3. I, I barely played any Mario 3 in 2023, right? I don't think so. I Maybe in the earlier parts of 2023, I did some Mario 3, but... No, thanks a lot, Skater Die. Everyone needs a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good streams, bro. Like, just today's stream and yesterday's stream, in my opinion, are just miles and miles better than the last few weeks of streams back in December. Like back in the de back in December like I was there, but I was like not there if if you guys get what I mean. Did anyone ever earn the rainbow badge? Uh yeah, I think some people have earned the rainbow badge. <gasps> I'm getting distracted. It's okay. I almost forgot to grab the fire flower there.
What's the bounty? What, you've never heard of the chocolate bar bounty? It's chocolate and coconut? All right, we made it. All right, are we at 110? We are officially on lap two, or I guess lap three, actually. Let's go. Are you making noise? Hey, did you get all wet? You're getting out of here. You're gonna mess me up. And uh, Dump Chest, thank you very much for the 200 bits. Where am I? Okay. Uh, I always have to clarify for anyone in chat who is wondering, yes, Dump Chest is exactly what you think it is. That name means exactly what you think it means. Crusty Golden? Is that something else too? We're getting all the kink names here. We got Dump Chest, we got Crusty Golden Showers. You're so glad I'm back? I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that you're back. You know, when streamers have to take long breaks, they run a massive risk jeopardizing their, you know, fan base, their community, their trust, and, and, and I'm, bro, don't be glad I'm back. I'm glad that you guys are back. Yo, farming points right here. Yeah, nice try, game. Mitch, remember when you figured out the hot drink song from Grant Who World 3 without any help? Of course. How do you how do you figure out the name of a song that you've never that you don't know? It's uh, pretty tough. Shazam? Shazam did not work, no. No, Shazam didn't work and Google, uh, Google didn't work. DMC, yeah, I did the DMCA strats. I, uh, I uploaded the song, I, I recorded the song on Grand Pool World 3 and then I uploaded it to YouTube and then I got DMCA'd. I got copyright on YouTube and it tells you what song was copywriting you and that's, that's how I figured it out. My parents poor music education. Well, yeah, I mean, when I have a kid, I'm, my kid's gonna listen to all sorts of music. My kid's gonna learn a lot about different kinds of musics. Yeah, well, that that was gonna be my last. That was gonna be my last thing. I was just gonna go apply to fast food restaurants with the idea that it was a fast food restaurant song in hopes that something could take me 10 years, could take me 20 years. I can't- I dead stopped on those bean platforms. The lives counter stops at 99, yep. This runs 
This run's getting serious. We're getting serious in here. Billy Mitchell just tweeted he got 99 lives. Yeah. That's what Billy Mitchell needs to be on social media more. You just got 101 lives in 4.62 seconds. What's that? On my last lap, I should do Jesus Clip. Okay, so if I'm going to do... If I'm going to do Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, Super Mario World, and Mario 64 without taking any damage in one sitting, I should do it with zero practice, right? You guys should join me on my journey to, to right? I have to do it with no practice, right? Just, just go right in and when I die, like start over. I mean, I might be able to continue the run to get a feel for it, but I should just, I should just not practice it, right? Just kind of, just kind of go for it. Bro, I'm gonna take damage in Mario 1 in like three minutes. You can do that, but it'll be slow as fuck. So I won't use Star Road in Mario World, I won't use Warp Whistles in Mario 3, and I won't use BLJs and MIPS in Mario 64. How does that sound? And I won't use Warps in Mario 1 either. Does that sound good? That sounds right. So I can do it any way I want, I just can't use any kind of Warps. Right? That sounds... Yeah, thank you very much for the super chat. Wish Paco was still here. Listen, you know damn right you can make your little speech Paco appear. Oh, Billy Mitchell. Lex Luthor, the same person. Oh. Wait, I don't get it still. Wait, I get it. I get it. Wait. Do I get it? I get it. Okay, please don't jump. Okay, he jumped. Are we at 125? I think we're at 125. My competitor is a compulsive masturbator. He masturbates all over the place. My competitor is a liar. What did I just join to? Uh, I'm very sorry, Twin Galaxies that whoever's judging this has to listen to this conversation, but it's not my fault. There's someone else behind the camera pulling the strings. Oh boy, a coin ship. Too bad, so sad. I need- I have TTS. You should get TTS that's like free money machine. I have TTS. I mean, you gotta at least try and give me money if you want to see if I have TTS. Yeah, I use TTS. I just don't really encourage 
any of that stuff all that much. I mean, most most streamers don't. I just don't. Whatever. Yeah, didn't Tim and Eric go on the Colbert show as clowns? Like, actual clowns? Yeah, sorry, Twin Galaxies. If you watch the chat playback of this, they're all rowdy. I can't even read chat right now. They are out of control. Most streamers don't encourage it because it quickly gets broken. Not true. Most streamers don't encourage it because it's a money-based system, and you don't want to sit around... No beach mess. Yeah. Yeah, my chat- my chat is out of control right now. I can't contain them. Isn't life a money-based system? You mean the board game life? Not if you roll twins and then get fired. Can we call come over? You mean can we all come over? I'll tell you what, the person with the best text-to-speech message can come over. There you go. I had to get one star kill. That's the swag strat they re requested. Utah has fossils, that's why I'd go. Listen, nobody wants your weird-ass fossils, okay? Except me. Tell me all about it. Best TTS message. That's the best TTS message? Canada misses MFP. Game. Canada misses MFP? Do you, Canada? Do you miss me? I don't think you do. Stolen, and the hat was in there. Sag. No way your car got stolen. Are you serious? How can you send pictures of your car stolen? Oh, your car got recovered? Oh. The hat is not safe. You know what? I'm not gonna sell you another hat because I don't think you can properly take care of these hats, okay? They're like your children. Hat abuse. I can't believe you did that to my hat. How many hats were injured in the making of this documentary? Yo, the fireball climbed the entire way up? Like, what?
And <laughs> what's better than a Frosty? Two Frosties. Nope. Breakfast Baconator? You wanna know what's funny? I actually had Wendy's a couple days ago. I'm not even kidding you. Yeah, did you guys like that block dupe? Is that a major glitch? I didn't mean to do it. I really, really should not land on that guy. Wait, you can't do glitches? No, I can do some. Jesus Clip is out. No, I would actually be allowed to do Jesus Clip in this. Let, let the ice do the physics. I will take your thousand bits. Don't do it. Do you even have bits? Can I even give... Can I give random Twitch users bits? I don't think I can. Do you have your tax information signed up with Twitch? Hmm. Are you gonna report it as taxable income? Huh? Because I have to tell the government where that money went, okay? 10,000 bits for successful Jesus clip? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, this bounty is worth more than a thousand bits. It's kind of uncool and messed up to ask something like that. That's okay, Julie Cat's cool. I feel like Julie Cat has single-handedly funded an entire day of a subathon, so she's cool. We are on the final lap. We made it. Holy crap. Okay, what's our points right now? 141. Last lap. You guys probably, like... I've seen some pretty crazy beards out there, and I'm telling you right now, my beard was not that level of crazy, so... I feel like when it comes to beard growing, I'm a filthy casual. And I mean, I'm alright with that, I just... I'm a casual, what do you want me to say? I get... I'm pretty impressed with some of the beards out there, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed that Twin Galaxies is putting on, like, challenges like this. It's, uh, it's a good way to stay, uh, structured and on top of things, especially everything that's been going on lately. With, uh, the Mitchell Billy. Alright, so you guys, you guys have two options, okay? I stay on stream a little longer. Go for maybe a couple more hours, but my stream tomorrow will have to start later. Or I stop after this run, and then I go to bed and then start stream tomorrow. I'd like to phone a friend. What, this isn't who wants to be a millionaire.
just just raw dog the hell out of Mario. How long do you think that challenge would take me? You can practice? My on-stream runs will be practiced. Yeah, I don't think Super Mario World... Well, Super Mario World, I won't be doing any percent. I'll be doing, like, no Star World. So I'm, so I'm gonna have to go through all the worlds in Super Mario World. Bro, I'm gonna get hit in, like, two seconds in Mario 1. Right, you don't lose the cape, therefore you don't take damage. Exactly. Yo, I just wrecked those guys. What the French toast? Welcome back, Mitch. Yo, Monstrum rocks. Thank you very much. This seems like deja vu. I know, I'm going in circles here. I've already done this before. Okay, but what's very scary is that, and I mean very scary, okay? I haven't done World 7 or World 8 yet. Like at all. I mean, I've done them, but you know what I mean. Uh, no, I'm definitely not going to do Fast 7-2. Uh, no thank you. Okay, so I'm going to- I'm going to go ahead and empty out my inventory a little bit here. There we go. I actually almost died there, I'm pretty sure. Do I want to participate in the weekly randomizer race? No, thank you. But thank you for asking. But no, I'm okay. Any good off-stream gaming lately? Um, not really, not right now. I I loaded up my first Metroid Prime randomizer, and I can't wait to circle back to that. Um, it does seem like a lot of fun. Uh, I went kind of deep into Counter-Strike 2. I was getting fairly decent at Counter-Strike 2. I know a lot of you are like, yeah, yeah, everyone says they're good at Counter-Strike, but I, I was getting there. It's actually getting pretty good at Counter-Strike. Don't make me load it up and prove. What's my CS2 rank? Like in, in what? Like Premiere? Dude, I got up to like 11,000 or something in my first like two months of playing the game. And then I played with people and I lost my rank. And then I, I focused more on getting better at the game than worrying about Premiere. Your older brother boasting that he could beat Mario 1 without dying? He didn't beat it? Your, da your dad killed Mario over and over until he had one life? That works until the first three seconds into the first level. Um... 
Yeah, Mario Wonder, the last time I played Mario Wonder was when I did the uh, no run challenge. And I just cannot believe that you can beat the new Mario game, Mario Wonder, without running. Without the B button or whatever button you want to call it, without the Y button. Pretty shocked that that's possible. It's kind of messed up. It's not even Mario anymore at that point. Okay. 41, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 156. Now I drive the school bus. Hey, don't worry there, Bart dude. Teachers used to call me dumb all the time. No, I'm out of p I'm out of warp whistles. I can't loop anymore. I'm loopless. It's like dupless from Mario from Paper Mario, but loopless. I like that there's no timer for this run. Uh, me too. Yeah, well, my knees aren't weak, but my palms are definitely sweaty, man. Hey, RuneScape Steve, I have a question for you. How much money do I have to give you to stop asking me about the same things that you ask me every stream and every day? I will pay, I will pay you to stop asking me, and on top of that, I will pay you to play Bomberman. Or Goof Troop. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you stop asking me to play Goof Troop and Bomberman. <laughs> and I... I've already played Goof Troop, and we had such a fun time! It's true, you probably haven't asked about Goof Troop. Bleep blop bloop! Bleep 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 blorp blorp. Mario keeps spamming jump. Nope, that was me. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll make a trade, I'll make a trade with you, RuneScape. I will eat Wendy's breakfast again. Uh, I don't... I can't, I think he wanted me to play Bomberman on the Super Nintendo, if I remember correctly. Um, which is a Bomberman I've never played before, which I'm sure I'm going to play. I will, I will heed the wishes of the, the RuneScape Steve. I will. I mean, you sent me a physical copy that is totally a physical copy. 100%. I just used my ROM extracting kit.
Uh, hi, is this a hot and juicy redhead? Dude, this is a Wendy's. I didn't even know you could phone restaurants like that. Hot take? Okay, I have a real take. I have never really eaten Arby's before in my life, and I'm convinced it's not good without ever trying it. Come on, RuneScape, what's your take? RuneScape, I'm just gonna sit here and encourage you to talk about something other than Bomberman and Wendy's. My stream is not your Wendy's Bomberman platform, so you're gonna you're gonna talk about more things, and you're gonna talk about more things right now, mister. You're grounded. I love how pathetic the food industry is now these days. We're at the point where it's acceptable to regret your food at some point. And when did that become acceptable? You shouldn't, you shouldn't regret any of your food. <laughs> but like, don't get me wrong, I'm guilty of it too. Like I'll cram my face with McDonald's and I'll regret it in three hours. I'll still complain about it, but. No joke, I sometimes regret eating my Flaming Hot Fritos. And I don't mean because, you know, a couple hours later I'm regretting it. Just sometimes, at, like, I feel like with my Flaming Hot Fritos, like, I should really only have, like, five or six of them, and I just love that nice salty Frito taste. But then, you know, once I get past, you know, ten chips or something, Yo, that's what McDonald's is there for. McDonald's is there when you're just too tired to make dinner or something. You got KFC tonight? I'd rather Popeye's chicken, but I've I've been a KFC eater before, so I can't hate. Not a huge fan of KFC. The new Taco Bell stackers are good. Taco Bell's another place that I don't normally eat. We finally made it here. <laughs> I didn't have cable for- Okay, I haven't done this level in a long time. I can't really read chat. Okay, guys, I'm busy. Chat blowing up my phone, phone. Raising Cane's is good chicken. Oh, yo, do I have a first class ticket to this airship? Nope. No, I don't. No, I've never had Zaxby's either. No. Any day now. 70, 71, 72, 73. He 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 ha 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 ho ho. Yeah, they've already said they've already said in the description of Twin Galaxies that I can do the clips in door three and then ah, I can do clips. Clips are not a big deal. I know about a stars. Maybe I should try and get a star from the spade game. Star a cool idea. Yeah, you bet- You bet your ass I'm gonna go slow here! What do you think, I'm crazy? 
You think I'm nuts? You think I'm gonna go like all fast? Do you know how long it took me to get here? Oh, I'm going for the long clip. No, don't touch me. You think I'm going up top with the pipes? Just to let you guys know, this is harder. This is way harder than doing the actual level, so. Can I please? Thank you. Baragoosh, baragoosh, garaoosh, shoosh, shoosh. Okay, so what's going on here? I think I want to do this level first. Alright, fish, you want to be up top there? I will go down here. Bake my big bock and big fork! Fork! I'm on my perch. Everyone stay away. Perch two. Here comes the lag. One for good luck. I'll take it. Ah, get in there. What? Oh my god! I actually early jumped that. 7-7 seven, seven is allowed, but I have to grab like the hammer suit and do it. But first, uh, I need to go back and grab a star. Where the hell is the star? I just flipped that!
We found it. Is it right here? Or right here? Nice. Frickin' spade card galore! The spade card stack, right? Throughout the whole game. So whatever 2,169,000 is of spade card games, that's how many are there. Oh, I really should save a P-Wing, so I think I should just clip here with, uh, Fire Flower, actually. You guys think I'm crazy? So I think I should star. I don't need a star in World 8, and I got two stars left. So I think I star, hammer suit here to fire, kill kill, star the fortress, like the star inside the fortress, then star the piranha plant stage. I actually thought I died there. Very slow here. I'm not doing speedrun strats. Come on. Thank you. It tried. I thought it ran out there. Got him. Yo, meme clip? Oh. I am sweating now, yes. Okay, so this one is jump, jump, grab star. No, but I don't have to. I really don't have to go crazy. I think I am going to opt out of the P-Speed strategy. I think the smart thing to do is take it slow. Okay, plants. You can F off. That one stressed me out too. One awkward movement, one weird jump that I haven't done in the last 10 years is all it takes.
Right, you guys have to remember, there's a lot of strategies I do in this game that are, like, robotic for me, right? I've been doing them for, like, I say 10 years, but I mean, I've been saying 10 years for the last four years. I've been running this game for, like, 13 years or some weird shit. This is why you're the goat, Billy? All right, all right. Oh, I should have got a hammer suit for Bowser. I thought he was gonna jump there, oh my god. Oh man, okay, 187 is what I have. Now I know you know what is the correct way to do this world. I know you guys know why I saved some of these P-Wings. Uh, yep. Look out for the flying wrenches! You gonna sit here and say boo pee wing strats while I'm here? Did you not just see how many levels and everything I've done? And like, can we talk about how I played worlds 1 through 4 for a second? Can we talk about that? I, I freaking annihilated everything. When you can play even World 1 as well as I do, you can- you can say boo to me and try and call me out. Nice try. Yeah, let's not forget I did World 5 and 6 four times in a row. I was saying boo -earns. Fucking wait for that wrench. What up, Mitch? Yo, what up? I feel like I actually almost took damage there. Yo, Papa Bowser, thank you very much. Wahoo, welcome back. We love you. We love you, Mitch! Thanks! Thanks for thanking of me. I feel like Bowser is harder to not fireball, right? Should I fireball Bowser or just let him stomp his way? Oh my god. I don't normally do this with a tail. Okay, we're good. No, I don't need to do the swim. Well, you can't stomp Bowser. Oh, 
Did I take damage? I don't know, did I? There is not, there's, there's not five levels. There's only three hand stages. Sweating in my hands. Right on, the mushroom fanfare right at the end.
I was actually so nervous. Holy crap. I, I actually did it. How, how many levels? But I went balls in Bowser's Castle. I did it. That was incredible. 198 levels in Mario Brothers 3 completed in a row without taking any damage or dying. Is this the highest score possible? I think so. I think for North America version of Mario 3, 198. Is this even beatable? If you do it faster, it's beatable, yes. I mean, I stopped a lot during this run, but it's still within like four hours or something, I'd say. God, it's so stressful. I apologize at the Twin Galaxy rep has to watch through this and listen to my channel chat be absolutely disgusting and crazy. I was not. I, I'm pretty sure I was PG that whole time. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really enjoyed my content, do not forget to subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. Thank you all for watching.